The rear panel includes the following items. A cooler, which refrigerates the internal electrical components of the ventilator. A speaker, which emits sound signals if an alarm is activated to warn the user about an issue related to the device or the patient. The alarm volume can be set from the user menu. The speaker should never be manipulated. Two connectors in the center of the panel. An RS-232 connector to connect to a PC. And a VGA connector to connect to an external monitor. A socket for plugging the power cable can be found on the left side. Connect the power cable directly to the main power supply of the building. It is important to fix the cable to the rear panel with the safety flange in order to prevent unexpected disconnections. The device has an internal battery with a 2.5 hour battery life in case the main power supply is interrupted. The device should always be connected to the main power supply of the building, even when not in use, to ensure that the battery is fully charged. Above the electrical socket is the power switch to turn the ventilator on and off. The pneumatic connections can be found on the lower right side. One connector for air and the other for oxygen, both properly identified. Connect the following accessories to these connectors. A green high pressure oxygen supply hose to the connector for oxygen an air filter or water trap to the air connector. This filter is placed between the connector and the high pressure air hose. Connect the yellow high pressure air supply hose to the filter connector. Connect the other end of the hoses to the main air and oxygen supply of the building. The supply pressure must be 280 to 600 kPa.